Um, first of all, if you ain't used Gnome, get the fuck out pretty please. You are not worthy to watch me. Okay, now that we've dealt with these losers, we're ready to go. Oh, to remind you, Gnome is currently in beta, the RC is scheduled for August 31, and the stable is arriving on September 19th, but I think all the big features are here already, so hopefully I won't miss anything. Unless, of course, I miss it due of my incompetence. Sa yaru minasen. Jill. Not many will agree with that at first, but trust me, when you actually get 47, the new alerts are something that will instantly super hit you, and they are unbelievable adorable. Q? In GNOME 47, there will be significantly improved touch support achieved by storing touch serials more persistently. In real action, that solves the issue that sometimes the popovers wouldn't open with a touch input on Wayland, or other times they could even freeze the full app. Hachi. Um, the thing with the new disc mounter is that even if everything is on main, I'm not quite sure if there will be a release, or if everything will be moved for GNOME 48. But I'm putting it here already because, come on, that's the first hybrid GNOME app because the app is written on C, but the mounter was written on Rust. Yeah! One of the most common complaints, finally solved. You don't want documents on the sidebar? No problem. You want documents back? Piece of cake. And the completely rewritten files sidebar will be proved also extra handy on the file picker. Yoka. That basically provides a way for people to set a global keyboard shortcut to launch their app or a specific feature of their app, for example, a specific action. And it is designed so that applications can register actions that can be triggered globally, regardless of the system's state, like focus. Um, but there is a catch. The patches are merged on XDG desktop portal, but not yet on GNOME portal even if they have been reviewed. Same situation in GNOME shell, and they might get merged eventually since it isn't a breaking change but no way for the hooks on GNOME settings to be ready for the 47 release. However, I am including it already in the list, because if you really, really need that feature, it will only take 10 minutes to build it yourselves. Oh. Adwaita is already gorgeous, and the introduction of CSS custom properties for GTK developers means they can define reusable values in their style sheets, which can significantly simplify and enhance the flexibility of their code, and eventually write faster, prettier apps. Yeah. Oh, and bonus, the CSS are now reloaded much faster. Yeah. The default GTK renderer is now Vulkan, finally. But that only if you run on Wayland session though. Sun. Okay, that change won't benefit many other than the three millions of Steam Deck units. Cause personally, I believe those are the kind of no misses that pushed Valve away. Yeah. Please. <laughs> Don't ever let that happen again. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. To put it simply, Nobody will complain about the theming in GNOME anymore, or almost nobody anyway. And no matter how grumpy and serious an asshole you might be, I promise you 100% you'll find yourself switching over the new GNOME colors. Okay, itchy. A 20-something years motherfucking meme is finally gone. And actually, GNOME has now the best file picker in Linux? How about that chief, huh? Zero. But you know what really is the very best about the next GNOME release? It's the very first release that Wayland Session actually works. And it actually works with NVIDIA drivers. This is super important because GNOME devs will now stop wasting their time maintaining Xorg, which was impossibly resources consuming. And as a matter of fact, GNOME Shell can now be built without X support, meaning a Wayland only modern compositor. Apologies if I missed anything. And if you aren't lazy, I'd like to see you putting your top five or something back in comments. Bye bye, till the next time.